let's talk about this little beauty here. Hill Spots tent stove. Um, I'm using this one now for like, I would say three years, but um, only the last one and a half years on a regular basis. In the summertime, obviously, I don't use it, just uh, when it's really wet, you know, uh, then I'm actually putting it on, otherwise, I'm not using it whatsoever. Um, so, in the wintertime, it's obviously going quite regularly. Uh, not all the time because I don't want to use too much firewood because you burn quite a lot to be honest if you're living in a tent because it's not the same as living in a um, in a cabin or whatever you know that is fairly good insulated and then traps the heat inside with a tent you know you have to keep the stove running all the time to generate heat otherwise it just vaporizing you know it just goes out pretty quickly and uh, the more wind you have the more um, you're going to lose um, uh, warmth inside the tent as well particularly if you, if you have a cotton polyester tent like I have you know like the tentipi is um, the hair sport comes for I think around 350 euros or something like that Depends a lot, you know, when where you buy it and whatnot. Uh, the prices have been going up regularly, so not 100% sure where it stands now. I'm gonna check that and put that in comment. But um, this is basically a long-term test, you know, so you can see how a stove looks like when you actually use it on a regular basis. Which little disclaimer: it's not meant to. Be used for you know it is a tent stove it means like you get a you get a bag to it you know you you can actually store all the pipe parts including um, of all parts basically you can store it inside um, this one here got bent quite a bit and you can just store those inside you can actually you actually have to take this one out this one broke I have the other piece inside there, but you can store all the crap inside. There's only the uh, the tent um, safety guard basically that you put around one of the pipes um, is uh, not fitting, but it obviously fits in the back, you know. So everything can can be stored inside, uh, which is really good when you're traveling, you know. But um, if you use it on a regular basis like I do, it is not holding up. Which totally makes sense because it's super thin metal and after some time it just wears out, you know. First thing, the top, it bends pretty, pretty much immediately when you start using it the first time. You're not having a solid surface so you have to kind of like run it quite hot to be able to actually uh, cook something on it. Um, with um, other stoves like normal like normal stoves that you have usually you can buy a plate that sits there and uh, that one um, heats up pretty pretty accurately you know you have a solid surface and then you can actually like um, heat up whatever you have to heat up you know and cook properly with it um, this little part here that's a little connector this one is movable because the the welding broke um, you can't really weld that well you know on, on this uh, on the stainless steel kit uh, or it's not stainless steel but uh, this type of, of um, metal uh, the sheet metal that is um, it's um, it's not working very well so this one uh, we just managed to get the weld on so it doesn't flop down again there's there's one um, extra layer in here that basically like gets the gets the smoke out like this way through the chimney. So basically, there's a metal piece here, and um, basically like the, the the smoke is going out like this. And uh, if that one here, it's actually sitting higher up. So if that one 
goes down, you know, with all the pipe parts going down, it just traps all the smoke inside, you know. And that is actually what happened to my one. And then this happens. There's a hole here in the back. It uh, got a beating, I can tell you that much. You know, there's even here it starts to break down. I'm gonna do some close-ups, you know, you, you can see it a little bit better. But um, this one is actually the most important thing here. It starts to crack even here on the top, you know. It really starts to go down you know, from now, from now on. So I'm gonna replace it. Not with the same stove, I'm gonna get something that is a little bit more suitable for long-term use. Um, because on, on short-term, situations you know this one's actually pretty good because it's it's quite handy to have I mean it's still big but um, if you're going out for like overnighters and you want to do like sort of like glamping or whatever this one is actually a really good um, option because uh, when you look at other glamping stoves they're insanely expensive crazy which uh, makes no sense to me you know why why would you want to pay a thousand euros for a, for a stove that you can only use during camping situations you know that makes no sense whatsoever in terms of pricing uh, yes they are well made and they uh, thought through and everything but uh, why you know I mean of course when you when you pay like two three thousand euros for a tent and then uh, you want to crank it up you know and get like a stove that is actually also like similar priced well have at it but I think uh, it's not worth it you know um, because why what, what do you gain out of it you know I mean those stoves they don't run hotter they don't run that much better yes you have a little bit more comfort in terms of like cooking and whatnot you know there's a few things but in the end that um, doesn't equate to the price that you actually have to pay for it you know so because it is a it is a cooking eye uh, it's, it's, a, it's just meant to cook it's not meant or meant to heat up a tent but it's not gonna generate the amount of like it doesn't store heat better or whatever because it can't it's a, it's a tent there is no way in hell that you can do that you know I had to stop because um, this uh, camera is only uh, recording 10 minutes so I always have to restart a little bit. Uh, this is the top part. Here you have the, uh, the tent protector basically, um, which is actually really good. It's quite easy. And, um, and then you have the, the um, spark safety basically uh, so that actually works semi good I actually have a couple of uh, spots on my tent uh, from from um, little hot spots you know they came down and then uh, burned a hole into the tent so um, I'm not so fond of it but it also depends a little bit on what you burn it with you know what you, what you use for the for the stove um, obviously like if you use birch wood you have less problems if you use um, construction wood uh, which I also use especially on Svabat uh, then you can have a little bit more problems you know because it's crackling up quite much more it sounds really awesome to be honest you know that's actually um, a little tip if you want to have like a really good um, fire that um, especially for filming and whatnot you know if you want to have this like cracking kind of sound use um, construction wood works the best you know to actually achieve this kind of like uh, sound effects and uh, look um, but regardless of that um, it's um, it's a stove that you can see like it um, it's getting rusty now it starts to go it starts to crack everywhere left and right you know after two three years of use and of course if it's outside all the time especially in the summertime when it's raining quite a bit as well um, it's it takes a beating you know so um, consider that when you're when you're buying some some stove not necessarily this one but um, other camp stoves they will not last if you're actually using them on a long-term basis 
um, if you use them on a regular basis this is actually you get uh, a lot for your money in my opinion you know in terms of like usage and whatnot you know so think a little bit about it what you want to do um, there is definitely other options that are more suitable for long-term use I'm gonna get um, just for the Swedish and Scandinavian people are gonna get one that is called uh, Luxen um, it's, a company that it's it's also just um, a relatively simple stove you know but uh, the, the Swedish military has quite like has a smaller version it's I'm not sure if it was eating uh, but it's a small stove you always have like this little it's an iron stove you know that always has this like fish sign on it for those of you who have been in Scandinavia and have seen something like this a small stove with a with a fish thingy on top like you usually have it like uh, where you have like an opening or whatever there's there's like a little fish thingy over it those kind of stoves they run pretty cheap uh, they are actually pretty good to use so um, also in a, a fairly compact size you know and those ones they are equivalently uh, in price they are about like the stove itself is like 150 200 euros depending a little bit on the size and what you want to go for or 250 if you want to go for a bigger one but um, and then you have to pay for the for the pipes you know itself but uh, you come around the same the same pricing in the end uh, compared to this one so long-term use not go for that I'm gonna put a link below so you can check out what I mean in terms of like uh, a different type of stove but um, if you really want to go camping or whatever this is definitely the better version um, however for me absolutely useless on long-term long-term use you know I I really abuse this thing I, I gotta be honest I had one before that I sold because I thought like I'm, I'm not using it anymore you know including the tent and whatnot luckily I kept the tent which is quite handy to have now but um, uh, it's not in use much you know and it was like like I said in the beginning right away you know it started bending here and whatnot you know so I felt like eh, do I really want to go for for another one like this and I decided yes because of the price but uh, in the end uh, now it's definitely time to change that so uh, in particular because the winter is like the proper winter is about to come you know so better prepare a little bit for that one all right guys uh, have a good one um, and uh, see you soon I guess and happy new year as well